What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Funko Friday. So I can't say another episode because it's probably been a hundred days since my last unboxing. So it sounds like the beginning of a, a meeting or confession booth or something. Um, that's due to the fact that I haven't actually really bought any Funko Pops in the last hundred days with the whole pandemic worldwide and all that nonsense. But this one actually came from a company in SA. Well, it's SA based, but... Uh, they source from overseas, so a lot of people that's local, they will know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to drop names, nothing. But unfortunately, I've ordered, well, I think about probably 25 Funko Pops from them. And that was last year, last year, April somewhere. And 99% of them have been cancelled, but apparently this one came. So I got home from work, and this was actually here, so I have no idea what it is. It doesn't say anything except for my address. So I can just see it's from the company. So I have no idea what this is going to be. So it's basically been a year. So I'm going to unbox it. And hopefully it's one of the ones I really wanted. But um, like I said, I think I ordered like 25. And 99, well, all of them actually were cancelled. So I actually gave up. So I have no idea. So my trusty old knife is somewhere. I have no idea. But I'm using a pair of scissors. So uh, let's see how this goes. And I um, hope everyone is keeping safe and warm and well for me wearing a short sleeve shirt and you can hear the winds howling outside I know it's July now but um, the August winds are early or it's the cold front moving in this side so let me just tear this up. and um, <clears throat> the only thing basically you can see is um, my beard has come nicely during this quarantine and that's all thanks to the captain's beard I'll leave a link in the description for all the great products you can buy them from Take Lord and SA and from most Salons that just check the website and see if they close by and they stop, which is, I mean, a lot of people don't prefer it. I like it. And I'm going for the whole Viking look, so um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, so basically, they bubble wrap this inside this now for bubble wrap again. And this is actually one that I really wanted, but unfortunately, everything was cancelled um, with the other ones as well. So and I'm stuck with only the one. And um, hopefully I can get the rest, but I know for a fact it's not in here, so, so um, I'll have to source it. Luckily, my nephew works in uh, the States, so you can probably ship it to me or bring it home. And this is none other than Mr. Derek Zoolander. So I have to say, this is what he looks like. Well, it's a pity they couldn't put a pose on him, um, blue steel. The box is a little bit dented on the top side, I have to say, uh, but besides a little dent here and a couple of scratches, okay, and one crease here, it's still fine. I'll probably take this one out. Seeing that the, on the back, I'll show you some close-ups afterwards, um, I didn't get Hansel and Mugatu, which I also ordered from them, but at least I got Derek, which is good, So, and I just love the movie, uh, all the whole parody around it. But um, I'll show you some shots of this one. I'll take it out of the box and show you. It doesn't come with a stand that I can see. And um, But yeah, like I said, the box is not 100%. I mean, oh. But still, still a nice look, funky, well, nice looking Funko board. So, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and leave a like and um, comment. Um, hopefully you've got better luck with, than with me with um, this company. But yeah, that being said, thanks for watching, guys.